Hello. These are my sister wives. Ooh. This is fancy. Okay. Holy Is this keto? Oh, yeah. You're a strawberry yeah. first ball. Someone is getting lit. <laughs> Were you surprised at the girls that picked you? No, I was actually happy with you guys, because I feel like you guys are quality over quantity. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, but let's try to, let's try to cheers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's having fun, everybody's vibing, but like, I want to like, speak to you, talk to you. Can we have a conversation? <laughs> You're a model, right? Well, so I am a model, but I also work in the exotic car industry. I have since I was 19. I've started doing things that are like, event-based in New York in the car industry. I don't know if I'm feeling Ashley. It's like she's still chasing that dream you can tell of being famous or whatever. Yeah. So I've traveled the whole country. I've actually rallied the country 15 times. I want to get to know you. I want to get to know the real you. There's so many days that like I've been on six flights for work and I've been all over the country and I have nobody to tell that to. I was actually really surprised when you picked me. Really? Yeah. You were definitely like my type of... Your type? Yeah. Like Call brunette. Fashion Nova girl. Fashion Nova. A little offended. <laughs> Little Kardashian vibe over here. Yeah, Kim. It's definitely still overwhelming getting to know all these ladies because I'm only one person. How can I? The first night, I felt like instant chemistry. Yeah. Um, I feel like yeah, you're they're more my, my type, my type for too. sure. Yeah. I'm really nervous. Um, I think that like I love the way the way you wear your nerves though and like everything about you. What happened? You got so drunk last night. You remember what happened? No, I remember everything. <laughs> I probably do stupid things when we're drunk. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, I've been there no. before, so. It was a good time. <laughs> Thank you Thank for you. being on my team. Yeah. Like, again, I could not be happier with you guys that are here right now. Like, overall, this date went amazing. It really proved to me that these women believed in me. It was such a rewarding experience, and I got to know these women more along the way. Let's go. Oh my god. Ready? Let's go, go. <laughs> Don't play with me. What the f was that? Me and Maria connect on like a really weird level. Like we could talk about aliens and sex to, you know, love and to basketball. <laughs> I hit it, right? She has the same kind of mind that I do, but I also find her attractive, too, so it's not just like, you know, hanging out with one of the boys. Are you still a little bitch? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I think Maria is competition to me. It's kind of hard to watch, just because I can get a little jealous. Who wants to go on the scrambler? Let's go! I got what you bring. Be less, let's do this. Vinny, aren't you coming? Everybody going? I'll go. Yeah, let's go! The boardwalk is a great date spot, but I'm getting a little old for, like, scramblers and Crank this bad boy. That ain't no, gonna go no, fast. Gonna... I'm dizzy. I'm up. This is definitely not an ideal place to have a one on one. Get your hair out of my face. What did you do? You're just trying to focus on not throwing up. Good talk. Yeah, that was a good talk. <laughs> what are you going first? Oh my wow. god. So cute. So presidential. Let's make believe you're my intern. I'm your intern? Yeah, yeah. Great. What do you need from me? I love that he chose me for this date. You know, we're both like poli sci nerds when we were in college. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, nothing turns me on like a little poli sci convo. So you graduated with the poli sci. Yeah, okay. worked in the senator's office. Mm -hmm. Then went to Philly. So I lived there for like the past three years. Mm -hmm. So now here we are. <laughs> I'm with the president of the United of, of, Guido of States. Guido States. <laughs> You picking me, I'm like in shock. Like I wasn't expecting, honestly. Aww. Seriously, I'm like so happy you did. Really? It was... No, I'm so happy I did. Like I, I've been wanting to, I just really? haven't really had the opportunity. And then yeah. sometimes it's like, there's drama and I'm like trying to attend to that. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like talking to those girls. Yeah. You're just like chilling in the background. You're like this beautiful, Aww. beautiful girl like that. Aww, you know, you. so I, I feel like you should be having attention. We get to cuddle finally. Yes. I love being around Elle. I think she's a sweet girl. There's nothing really extra about her. She's just always like smiling and nice, and, and I like that. I'm happy I'm here. Me too. I'm about to break free. Only you can save me. You're the air that I breathe. You're all that I Oh my god. The kiss was like, it was amazing.
I want to use today to talk to Bee Lashes because, like, she kind of became like a friend in the house. I'm proud of I you. Miss you. Good. Like, I don't even know who she likes. We gotta get back on track. So, like, how are you doing with it all then? Because I'm actually doing well being away from home, and I feel like I really like all the girls here. Yeah. What about me and Paulie though? What about you guys? Excuse me? Is she kidding? You're supposed to be here for us, so. Of course. How do you? Do you like somebody? Yeah, no, honestly, wanna... I could see myself, honestly, more with someone like you than with Paulie. I had no idea. Yeah. I'm glad I'm just heard, I just heard that. Yeah. Because I would have known no idea. I definitely wish this conversation would have happened sooner, but it didn't, and things take time. Like, I'm trying hard to break out of my shell, and it's not that easy. Yeah, I feel like we have similar sense of humor, and like, yeah. although you're into different things than I'm into, we do have Isn't that funny, though? Interest. Because, like, me and you are complete opposites. We are. Surprisingly, the last right now, she's telling me that she's more interested in me. It was news to me. We're like really deep in the game now. So I don't know how I feel about it. I guess now at this point, like I'm trying to dig a little deeper mm -hmm. and like not like, oh, nice to meet you. Know, you know, but I like know. how can someone really fit in my life? We could all sit here and be friends and blah, blah, blah. But mm -hmm. realistically, you have to be like, can I be with this person? Of course. I've expressed now my feelings towards Vinny. Might it have been too late? Yes. But if it's not too late moving forward, I really want to stay here and get to know him better. Thank you for liking me. <laughs> can you give thank me a hug? Thank you for choosing me. Be can like, you give me a real hug? Show me you like me more. Okay, well, hopefully we get more time. Yeah. Have you ever DJed a roller skating party? No, but I always wanted to. Daughter's birthday. I know. This is what I have a one on one. <laughs> you? Yeah. What we'll have to? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I grew some balls and asked Vinny for a one on one. A bitch is trying here. Did you have something specific you want to talk about or not? No. <laughs> God, I hate you. <laughs> so awkward. No. We're both like socially awkward and like can't communicate. So like seeing us try to talk to each other is like two people dancing with like two left feet. You know what I mean? Like we have something there, but like we're awkward. <laughs> it's hard for me to like show yeah. affection and everything because oh in me front right of now? people. Yeah, no, I know. Stuff, you know. I know. I know. Like that one night we were on the scrambler together. And I was eating your hair. Get your hair out of my face. What are you gonna do? It was amazing. Remember that? <laughs> Me and Maria are getting there. I like that Maria like knows what she wants and is into me. I like the fact that you're a history major, mm -hmm. but you're also like hood, and like you're hot, but you carry yourself off like like you're not. Like an ugly girl. <laughs> yeah, like a ugly bitch. <laughs> It makes me feel good that he's being so expressive with his like physical feelings and like emotional feelings with me. Cause like I do have genuine feelings for Vinny. <laughs> You're so awkward. Hi. Sorry. Can I pull you aside? Uh oh. <laughs> you wanna sit or stand? I haven't spoken to Elise in a while, and that's a girl that I have like one of the strongest connections with here. But it's hard to read her because she was my type physically right off the bat. Love your hair today. Thanks. Then all of a sudden we were making out. And after that, she went quiet again. So I never know, like, if there is something there. I just hate talking when there's, like, people around. No, I know. We don't have to talk. Like, I like chilling with you when... I don't want to be too chill, though. Elise is so laid back, but I'm at the point now where it's, like, not, like, getting to know you anymore. It's, like, you know, could you handle dating me, my lifestyle? Like, I know that I think we like each other, mm -hmm. you know? But I don't think we ever talked about, like, if I could actually, like, if we could be with each other, like, on the outside like, yeah. of this, you know? Every time I'm with them, he makes me, like, feel so comfortable. He's just, like, so genuine. He's, like, intelligent. So, like, right now, I'm invested in Vinny. Well, I'm telling you now, I think the time is starting to, like, dwindle down. Yeah. And it's not like, all right, obviously, I think Elise is beautiful, but, mm -hmm. like, that doesn't make, like, an actual relationship. Yeah. You know? like, so I'm like, can I be in a relationship with you, mm -hmm. you know? My Feelings are still there, but I feel like our connection is just like getting worse. I think I could just be in my head, but I might be getting eliminated tonight. I think it will be nice to go visit Vinny and just get a more chill vibe. I'm so excited to yeah. see Vinny. I'm excited. Eventually, I'm going to have to make a choice on which guy I really see myself with, and maybe this trip is something that can help me decide. Where are my girlfriends? 
Hi. <laughs> so, welcome to New York. <laughs> I was going to take you guys on, you know, this really luxurious boat called the Staten Island Ferry, right? <laughs> but uh, Paulie took you on a private jet, oh. and I was like, I got to step my game up. Oh, so, I'm taking us on a private boat. <laughs> okay. A boat ride around Manhattan is the best way to kick off this trip. I mean, who does that? Sometimes when it's this cold, like the water is actually warmer than the outside. I'm literally freezing my ass off, okay? Nipples can cut through ice right now. Can I be back on this private jet, like going back to LA where it's nice and warm? Uptown's that way, downtown. It's downtown? That's the tip of Manhattan where that orange boat is. That's actually one of the Staten Island ferries right there. Oh, okay. Now to our right, there's another lady in my life, the Statue of Liberty. Hi! Aren't you cold? <laughs> Are yeah. Just yeah, let's go inside. Okay. Well, the girls had just come from seeing Paulie's fancy private jet and club life, but I wanted to show these women that I came from a regular life. I don't want someone who wants the celebrity lifestyle. I want someone who doesn't want it, and then they get to like enjoy it by you know consequence. All right, guys, we're on Staten Island. Woo! On the island. I'm excited to show these women what my life is all about. Yep, that's my college, College of Staten Island. What was like your most memorable college experience? Well, I lost yeah. my virginity in college. What was his name? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's the house I grew up in. Aw. Vinny, this lifestyle is all regular. It feels comfortable and familiar. I love regular. <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys to get pizza. Yeah. New York, Staten Island has the best pizza. When you're in Staten Island, you gotta get pizza. So I'm bringing these women to a really good Italian restaurant. We're gonna have some Staten Island, New York Italian food. This seat is reserved because I have a special friend coming to dinner. So, yeah. so there is one extra seat at this table and uh, the women don't know what is about to hit them. So who do you think my guest is gonna be? Your mom. Uncle Nito. Uncle Nito. Your dog. <laughs> She is so adorable in person. You guys are so cute. Snooki is the best. I thought I was like her height. She's shorter than me. How you been? <laughs> this is weird. Are these like all your girlfriends? How yeah. does this work? Me and Paulie's girlfriends, technically. Okay. I'm usually not allowed to like hang out or sit next to Nicole. Oh, we're over it. But now that now that I have like a bunch of <laughs> girlfriends, it doesn't matter. Me and Nicole have always had a weird relationship. I mean, we had our ups, we had our downs, we didn't talk for a while. But I know the boys really want to find like a good girl. So yeah. hopefully it's one of you, bitches. But I trust her to talk to these women. She knows me better than anyone else would know me. Um, what do you guys do for work? I actually have four jobs. Ooh. So I own a You're online. crazy cat lady, too. I'm also a crazy I love cat. I'm a crazy cat lady. I'm a registered nurse. She looks like me. Yeah, that's that's you yeah. in the house, basically. Yes! <laughs> like, I'm so excited. I love her. I do not mind being twinning with her. <laughs> I love Susie, but I don't know if me and Polly can handle another Snooky in our life. You're a real registered nurse. She can take care of you. <laughs> What do you do? I'm a cocktail waitress and I dance on the side. Not, 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 not I don't know how to say it. Like, yeah, you I belong to a like dance that. agency and I go to like gigs and auditions, You're but not awesome. like stripping. She, she, yeah. she majored in real wow. dance. And on the side too, makes it yeah. seem mad strippish. Like, <laughs> you have nice boots. Thanks. They're, they're real? Boots. Yeah, they're real. Really? Yeah. <laughs> she complimented my boots. My bitch. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> I have like a lot more pressing questions. I actually brought a clipboard. <laughs> of course you did. I'm gonna go mommy on you. Definitely with dating Vinny comes all of his close friends. Are you serious with this? Yeah. I love that you have a crayon. <laughs> I'm a mom. Such a mom. Nicole will genuinely need to like me because they are so close. Like Wow will need to like me, you know, all of those people. So I, that's a lot of pressure because um, they seem like hard critics. STDs, anyone? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, actually, <laughs> answer this one. <laughs> like, what are we doing? No, 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 I didn't sign up for this. When's the last time you guys had sex? Oh, wow. Oh. Uh, wow. I'm at a year and a half, so you can put that down. A year and a half? Yeah. Damn, Darren. I don't sleep around, I really don't. That's good. That is good. I'm a desert. <laughs> desert? <laughs> I have to have a 
connection. I can't. I've never had a one night stand. I'm just not my thing. So. I feel like a slut. <laughs> <laughs> You're also pregnant. God. Has anyone ever been pregnant before? No. no. That's a good no. question. Oh, no. she has a daughter. Oh, I have a 16 year old. Oh, you do? A, a 16 year old? Yep. So you have a milf here. Yep. <laughs> Vinny's into milfs. What do you guys think is Vinny's best quality and best feature? We'll go around the table. It's awkward. <laughs> Oh god, like I'm not good with stuff like this. He's saying it's awkward because I'm more into Polly. Oh she picked her her poison. Um, he has nice eyes. Thank you. <laughs> Next. I'm not good at taking any compliment, let alone let's go around the table. I love your smile. Oh, yeah, Can I leave? I don't like this. <laughs> and just like his whole vibe. This is weird. Take it. I, I can't so take. Let's take it. Let's okay, take sure. It. I'm just kind of quiet and shy. So like when I'm around him, it makes me feel like really comfortable. And like I just can open up when I'm with them like alone. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's yeah. keep it going. This is gonna sound like mad weird, but uh, I'm scared. <laughs> I was gonna say four arms. Four arms. <laughs> like when somebody has good forearms. I didn't even know that. Forearm. Yeah. I masturbate a lot, so good. Yeah. Great, oh my God. great forearm. I like his body build. You know, like I'm not the biggest girl, so I like a guy who's like, I don't know, I like it. It's just. Did you said I have the same body as you? <laughs> <laughs> that was so sweet. Thank you, and I like you guys too. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is what I deal with. Learning very quickly that Vinny is easily embarrassed by Nicole, but it's kind of really cute and endearing watching him squirm in his seat a little bit. Oh, the bathroom door. <laughs> so who's really for Vinny? I am. Yeah. We have one. I feel like we're on the same wavelength on a lot of stuff. It's just hard because I know he has a connection with other girls too, so I'm very careful. I like to be real about that I could be walking home from this with nothing, so I try not to get too far ahead of myself. This trip is helping me decide because I'm honestly feeling both of them, and I yeah. wanted to see like Polly's experience. I think you're Polly's type. You think? That's what I said. I like and it. then I wanted to see like what Vinny's hometown and everything like, and then I was just gonna go with my gut feeling <laughs> after this. Snooki was like Polly's type, but I'm like, I don't know. All right, guys, ready to go? Yeah. Yes. All right, next That was up. fun. It's important for me to be on Nicole's good side because I just want to leave a good impression. Because if I don't, she could just be like, nah, like at least isn't good for you. Your house is so oh, nice. Should we take our shoes off? I wanted to see how these women acted and looked in my personal space. So it's where my dog is. It's where I lay my head at night. It's where I find peace. This is where all the magic happens. Aww. Oh, in the mouth. This is who I sleep with every night. The best cuddler in the world. Yeah, she'll lick you. Elise is definitely the best with Tita. She is kissing my dog and hugging her, and you know, she just loves her. It's so natural. You're getting all the kisses. And Elise is getting major brownie points for that. Wait. Oh my God. What is that? Oh, I got pillows, oh air mattresses, sleeping bags. It's like a legit slumber party. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been in the slumber party and not hosting it for my daughter. <laughs> I just want to drink. But I feel like this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited. <laughs> so I'm running it low on ice, so I'm going to go take a ride okay. to get some. OK. Uh, <laughs> I'm literally going to get ice. I'm not going to lie. You know, I liked Elle a lot when I first got here. All right, we'll be right back. Bye. But then our relationship kind of took a couple steps back. So I want to connect with Elle again. I want to talk to her. I want to say, do we still have this here? You know, because it's hard to have that conversation when we're mixed in the house with everybody. Like, we're just in your neighborhood. I know. It's so, so weird. Crazy. I felt like complimented that he chose me for the ice run. But there were things we needed to talk about, for sure. So it was necessary. I want to see like how you still feel. Yeah, no, I mean, like... I definitely felt that we had a good connection, you know, yeah. when we did connect. But I also, you know, know you're dating someone else too. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Elle, what the hell? You know, last time I, I checked, Elle was like making out with Paulie in a gazebo. And just because we said you could date both of us doesn't mean we're not going to have feelings about it. You know, once it's actually happening, it's weird. I liked kissing you, Vanessa. I can kiss you again if you want. Ooh. Yeah. I don't want to let other relationships intrude on what our relationship is right now. We got like a good, a good vibe, you know? Yeah. And then I was like, do I like Elle? Do you? And then you ruined it, so. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna punch you. I'm like confused. I'm like, do you want to set the standard right now? Because you can say, if you want to be with me, like, don't, I want you, don't talk to Paul. You can say that right now. Um, but you're not saying that, so. I'm just like confused. Elle, how was your ice ride? It was really efficient. We got one bag of ice and came back. Really efficient. You left to get that small bag of ice. Like, you had that in the freezer. <laughs> we have enough ice. Woo! Beep, beep, woo! I'm a, I'm a bottle girl. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> what are you missing? Elle. Elle. Getting ice. Locked in your bedroom? Oh. <laughs> Get an ice! Oh. Oh. Adoption. I'm so excited. Elise really stuck out to me when I saw her around my dog in Staten Island. So I figured she'd be the perfect person to take to a dog adoption place. Hello. Uh, how are you? How are you doing? Welcome. I'm John, Vinny. executive director of the foundation. Hi. Welcome. Oh, this is Teeny. Hi, Teeny. Seeing Elise around dogs means a lot to me because I can see this like caring person. I'm like, damn, like I like this girl. Bro, this dog looks like you, for real. Look at this. The freckles? Yeah. Hold on, stand up. Looks just like you. Elise, I really like you. Elise, oh I like you Oh my god. This dog is like so soft. amazing. I want to have like the perfect date because I've never been on one with him yet, so. I'm definitely nervous, but like this is like the perfect date for us just because when I'm around dogs, I'm more like comfortable in myself. It's so, so crazy. Girl tonight, Wait, it's just look down there. She's so cute. My God. Oh my God, I'm in love with the dog. I'm in love with the dog. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is definitely a memory I always keep. Overall, it was like a huge like just satisfaction just because I finally got a date. And like after today, I feel closer to Vinny. I always feel like I can what? cuddle up with you and touch you, you know? Yeah. Like That's that. rare. It is? Yeah, hell yeah. The whole time I'm just thinking Maria because I can see their connection like right off the bat. Because they have like this joking connection. And I have a really strong physical connection with Vinny. But like maybe his connection with Maria is stronger. You have to be physically attracted, like, we have to, to their smell, to their everything. Do you want to get close to them? Okay. Like I do to you every time. <laughs> Best day ever. <laughs> Maria? I'm nervous because these are the last one-on-one -on -one dates. And I'm so awkward, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. Wow, fancy. Thanks for sharing your meat. Same for me. <laughs> Except not meat. Fish. <laughs> Ew! I hated that. I hated every second of that. <laughs> There's always some weird <laughs> as to have you. <laughs> I decided to take Maria on a romantic dinner date on a rooftop because we need to get past like the awkwardness, you know, dig deep and get more emotional. I don't do me because I'm nervous and they're sweating. Oh, oh no. God, here we go. No. No. Ew. No. Stop. I'm fine with your sweaty moms. <laughs> <laughs> My armpits sweat like a faucet. Are they sweating? No, right, no, right now. I'm wearing a shirt underneath it that protects her from sweat. <laughs> My armpits are sweating. Maria's palms are sweating. You can't touch me. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the most awkward moment I've ever had in my life. You can't even grab my face. We like are the type to like bump heads as we kiss each other. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he is laughing with me or at me. So that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> The physical awkwardness between me and Maria is funny, but at the same time, like, I'm waiting for it to end, and it never ends. <laughs> this should not be this <laughs> dark. It shouldn't. You know what? I don't think we work. <laughs> we can't even kiss each other. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna touch you. <laughs> Stop. 
I know where I stand with like who I like and who I want to be with, right? Mm. But I'm saying like in this scenario, like you kissing other girls, I know that's what you have to do. Yeah. Right? But like I don't know like where you right. rank. <laughs> I gotta go ranking you like, like a ranking system. <laughs> well, I can't answer it because I don't even know. But you rank pretty high. <laughs> pretty up there, buddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. I don't know. I don't know why I don't I don't know why I think that Vinny doesn't like me. I'm just an overthinker and I'm very paranoid. So obviously with this date, I'm doing just that. I'm overthinking and I'm very paranoid. So I clearly have some reflection to do. I don't like admitting this, mm -hmm. but I feel like I like building my own wall because just in case if you like I told you, if you wake up tomorrow and you say I'm with Elise or yeah. Elmore, I just prepare myself for I guess like what the worst thing could be. So I think that's the my biggest issue that I'm working on, but I don't know if it comes off like a bad way. I just, with you, I've been in this house, I've been trying to like, I have like all these like connections with you. It's like a constellation, you know, like of all these amazing little moments. The thing I've struggled with is like, how do you put that all together into like two people having a relationship? I'm sorry, like, I just get nervous. Like, what do you want me it's to okay. do? The one time you said, oh, I like you, and then like, that was it. Every time I talk to you, I haven't been able, uh, it's yeah. always in like a quick scenario. I like, think that's what in, it is. At, at, at like a basketball hoop in a <laughs> roller skating ring or behind the tree <laughs> or at my house where everything's running in a million different directions. And <laughs> like, I'm trying to like have like real conversations with you. Maria, like, she doesn't know where she stands with me. Like, I've been telling you this whole time that Maria has some self-doubt to her and uh, because of that. We have like a barrier up between us, I always feel. And I don't know if we can move past it. I have a date planned for us. I okay, think we go... what are we doing? Ooh. Oh my God! But your mom told me you like to paint, and I like to paint too. So I figured, let's oh paint together. God. You know she's a great painter? No. She's very I'm artistic. artistic. I draw too. Vinny, props. So much props to you, because this is so creative, and no guy has ever done this for me. We have wine. This is so cute. We have little aprons. <laughs> Here, put this on. Like, Vinny pays attention to me. He paid attention to what my mom said. Like, he is a great listener. And for him to execute it like this is like the most adorable date I've ever been on. <laughs> I made you look so evil in mine. Don't look at it. I wasn't looking at it. <laughs> you look like a criminal. <laughs> like a sketch of like someone who's murdered someone. <laughs> Elle kind of confuses me a lot because I know that she has this thing for Pauly as well. And I just don't know which way she kind of is leaning or if the stuff she says to me is real because she's also saying it to Paulie as well. You know how we like had our first date? We had a lot of chemistry mm -hmm. and I feel like it was like a really good first date. I'm mm -hmm. happy I'm here. Me too. I thought that was an amazing first date. It felt like it was right, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? It felt like I had been waiting for it the whole time. Yeah. And uh, I didn't get that with other people. With the 20 girls, like, did you see me like you were gonna keep me this far? Yeah, when as soon as you walked in the house, I thought, I was like, that's the one. Uh-uh. I swear to God. I thought you were, like, she looks like a Fashion Nova girl, like I was a bitch. Yeah, but I like that. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so, where are you at with? It's like we were asked to get to know both of you, and then you develop actual feelings, and it's like, no, pick one. I just keep veering back to you, though. Yeah, but do you say the same to Polly? No, I don't. Oh, I have totally you know? different relationship with you. Like really? I'm, I'm a thousand times percent more comfortable with you. Well, and that makes I feel, feel like we have a much deeper relationship than me and him. I think I'm done. I feel like if I touch your face more, I'll f it up. Ready, set, open. Oh wow! I'm enjoying. Why does my face go so narrow? The date with Vinny was kind of like we can really work this out outside of this house. Like truly, logically, realistically, like this can happen. <laughs> Why? Why is that so funny? <laughs> it's so cute. I don't know if Polly can see me in that sense, and that's what I want to find out tonight. I could literally see us like going out, and <laughs> like see the with same each thing other. To no, I don't. I don't say that. Um, 
I'm going to the grocery store because uh-huh. I'm cooking dinner for my husband. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah. So if you want to come help me shop. I'm invited to go to the grocery store with you? Mm-hmm. Wow, this friendship is... Blossoming. Blossoming. I don't know if, I don't know if you want to go like that. <laughs> <laughs> I get ready. Oh, okay, so we really are friends now. All right, Vanny, let's go to the supermarket. Thank you so much. Me and Maria are definitely on the weirdo wave. Where are you going? I don't know. I don't know what car it is. (laughs) We've always had like a weird sexual chemistry with each other. It's going to get you horny. You have a very long nose hair, and I really want to grab one of your nose. <laughs> Can I just pluck it? Nah. It's bothering me so much. Stop. But we were never able to kind of. Literally pissing Thanks me. Thanks for calling it out, you idiot. <laughs> Physically manifest it. Oh. All right, stop. I'm finally comfortable to enjoy my time with Minnie as just friends. I feel like this is something I've been waiting for. Why would you do that? You Ugh. hate boogers, but you said you want to pluck my nose here. This is something that I didn't actually think would happen, but it's nice to actually sit here and say that there is a friendship. Should we get this? <laughs> <laughs> Go, stop. Oh, this is like real ricotta cheese. It's like saran wrap. <laughs> <laughs> You look so good. Really? You really do, yeah. Are you gonna drink tonight? I'll have some wine, because I'm a wine guy now. You're, is that, is this like a new thing? It is, So now you're drinking wine? Yeah. Vinny, he's trying to be a gentleman, and I appreciate that, I like that. But I'm nervous because I feel like having sex with Vinny is, is less complicated than going out to dinner with him. This is an escalator. <laughs> A dinner date is where you have to sit there and make small talk. If I'm bad at small talk and he's bad at small talk, all we're gonna hear is our forks clinking the plate. Your first time dining in with us? No, we've both been here, not together on a date, but we've both been here separately. Well, it's great to have you back. Yes, now we're on a date together. (laughs) I hate dinner dates so much. And your server, Gary, will be right with you. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. Being here with Maria, I'm definitely like nervous, but you know, I've always had a connection to her. I have nothing but good vibes with Maria the more I get to know her. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Uh, I think we'll have some cocktails. It's weird that we're here right now. I hated you three weeks ago. I hated you too three weeks ago, Maria. Amazing. Anyway, point is, I'm here now, we're here now and I need a lot of vodka. I feel like if we can make it through this dinner, it will be a big weight lifted off my shoulders. I feel like I could finally be myself, my true self around Vinny. You like oysters? Oh, look at you all fancy. (laughs) Don't say it like that. (laughs) Okay, anyway, Vinny, I'm poor. (laughs) Well, I grew up without any money as well. (laughs) Me and Maria had a lot of similarities the way we were raised. And I do think that at this point, it's important that she knows that stuff. My mother immigrated here from Sicily without, you know, any kind of trade or anything like that. Didn't have any savings accounts. Our electricity was always shut off. Yeah. We had no hot water. <laughs> it was just a weird situation. I know, trust me. I know. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of things that we joke about all the time and it's never anything that's deep. And then finally, we got somewhere that's deep and I understand him a little bit better than I did before. You want the meatball? Want to split it? No, you're good. <laughs> you're good. So, switching gears. Oh boy. To mature people. Yes. This is my insurance for when you call me a saying again in five months. We are two people that like each other 
and like hang with each other. We're not boyfriend and girlfriend. Right. I feel like maybe Vinny just goes on a lot of dates with girls who like assume that they're going out right after. And I'm just, I'm not a moron. We are not boyfriend and girlfriend in the slightest. We're just two people who are enjoying each other's company. It's not my first time around the block. I know we're not boyfriend and girlfriend after eating shrimp together. So with that being said, you can do what you want and I can do what I want and it'll be fine. Overall, my date with Maria was funny, it was comfortable, we had good food, and it was just like effortless. This is one of the best dates I've ever been on. We should definitely do this again. This is a great hang. <laughs> do you want to? Yes. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs> so up. Maybe I just come on, but maybe I ask you now. All right, now don't that classy. Shut up, what is your problem? The date was a good time, it really was. And I enjoyed it and I felt comfortable enough and it felt natural enough for me to go ahead and Ah, uh, kids, kids, kids. I got broad clothes in my closet. Well, it's in the closet. <laughs> this thing fits. Las Vegas! What the? I love this. Vinny, where are you, Vinny? Sorry. Sorry, sorry about you. This is my next. Where? Get the f out oh, of no, here. Oh, no, 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 no. Vinny. Oh, Las Vegas. <laughs> this is your honeymoon present. Las Vegas! Las Vegas. I don't really know what is happening with my life, but all I know is Uncle Nino is there and I'm half naked. It's not real. <laughs> no, it's... it's no. Oh, <laughs> Maria, Maria, okay. I picked this up for you. Is this be last year, Jack? I love it. Thank you. Like, honestly, this is all Paulie's fault. Prank war champion oh. strikes again. Get the out of here. <laughs> Let's try it again. <laughs> Las Vegas. Right, Vinny? 